Hello, everyone. Welcome at this um, short um, short presentation about the European Architectural Barometer um, and USP Marketing Consultancy in general. Um, the European Architectural Barometer is a multi-client research um, that is conducted by ArcVision, and ArcVision is a daughter company of USP Marketing Consultancy. Um, USP Marketing Consultancy uh, is a dedicated research uh, firm um, with a uh, market specialization in the installation, uh, construction, and DIY sector. Um, this specialization has been there from the start, and since the start in 1993, um, yeah, it has developed into a full-grown a market research agency uh, with 70 research analysts, project managers, and consultants, with a head office in Rotterdam um, and a subsidiary in, uh, in Dusseldorf as well. Um, throughout the year, uh, many dedicated and multi-client researches uh, are conducted, um, and that can be from um, from uh, qualitative uh, focus groups and in-depth interviews um, to business-to-business -business CATI interviews or business-to-consumer online interviews. So all type of uh, uh, research is conducted by USP. Um, also, if, we, if, we, if you look at um, the type of research that is um, that is being conducted by USP, it's not only about uh, qualitative or quantitative market uh, research, um, but there's a lot of, um, uh, yeah, a lot of different type of researches that our clients ask us for. Um, it's always tailor-made. It's always driven by the inf information needs of our clients, um, and we do so for uh, over 25 years already. Uh, we have a worldwide coverage, uh, and we do business to business, business to consumer, uh, with all type of uh, different um, uh, market researches, like segmentation, customer journeys, branding, concept and product research, well, all these topics we cover, and it's uh, always something that our uh, uh, clients are very interested in. Um, like I said, we're a market specialist in the constru construction, DIY, and installation market. We cover multiple uh, multi -country, multiple countries at the same time all over the world. So we are not uh, only conducting research in the Netherlands or in Germany, but we can do this throughout Europe or on a worldwide level. Um, we also have some multi-client reports covering uh, installers, contractors, painters, consumers, and thus the architects um, in the European Architectural Barometer by our vision. The European Architectural Barometer by our vision um, is a study designed based on um, 1,600 quarterly interviews with architects. These interviews are being conducted by, uh, by phone, and we do 200 interviews per country in uh, the UK, the Netherlands, uh, Belgium, Germany, Poland, France, Italy, and Spain. Um, each quarter, we will have a team part um, to give marketeers insight in, in need-to-know information on marketing topics such as BIM, prefab, brand position, uh, the changing role of the uh, decision-making unit. Well, each quarter, there is a different team part that we um, uh, that we investigate. Um, besides that, we have every quarter uh, a tracking of the economical development uh, based on the architect's turnover and order book um, with which we are uh, mapping out the um, uh, the building volumes in the European construction industries and we give a forecast until uh, two or three years ahead. Some of our clients that we uh, we conduct this uh, this research for are, are really big companies in, in the uh, in the construction industry such as Sengelband, Interface, uh, Rock Panel, Knauf, uh, Xella, uh, all big major companies, big players in, uh, uh, in the construction industry. Well, why the Ar European Architectural Barometer is, uh, is of importance to, uh, to each marketeer, we give insight in key trends such as building information modeling, prefab, changes in the decision-making unit, um, and um, that is very important to know where, how, and when these trends become relevant. That is key market intelligence, I guess, for um, for input for the st strategic decision making of yeah, for each country, uh, for each um, um, company that is active in the construction industry. So um, it is all about the way architects uh, uh, at this moment are uh, um, uh, getting their information, uh, how they see the digitalization happening, how the change of DMU is uh, uh, at this moment uh, ongoing. So um, yeah, at th that point we uh, we offer vital key information for uh, the construction marketeer. Um, these trends will these trends and team parts will be repeated in one, two, or three year intervals. So uh, in this way we can um, also show trend lines and predictions 
um, and and you have key insights on on all these topics over a uh, period of time. Well, as mentioned, one of the um, uh, one of the topics that is always included in the European Architectural Barometer um, is the project prediction of the future construction volumes in uh, in the eight European countries. Um, based on the order book and turnover of the architects, but also based on other indicators such as um, GDP, etc., uh, we um, we have developed a model uh, together with the Delft University in 2009 to um, uh, yeah to, to make a good prediction on um, uh, on the future building volumes in each um, in each country. What you see here, for example, is uh, some of the key results that we uh, that we use for this model, such as the expectation of an empty order book, the development of the order book of the architects, which in the end leads to the building volumes that you will see uh, in the left corner on the uh, on the bottom side of the sheet. So you can see here that in Germany um, there has been a steady growth figure throughout the years 2009 until 2019. Um, one of the team parts that we did, for example, was uh, the part of love brand. So that gives insight in brand position uh, of um, uh, of the manufacturers in the European industry. Um, one of the questions that we asked the architects was, what uh, manufact which manufacturer do you consider to be a leader in the construction industry? Uh, these are the results uh, uh, to that question. But of course, we have these insights also uh, for uh, different categories or different product types. Um, that the architects were asked about in this uh, team part. Another important uh, team part that we conduct for over uh, many years already uh, is sustainability. Of course, this is uh, a topic that is heavily um, discussed in the industry, um, and it, it is in the ArcVision team parts uh, for years now, since uh, 2013. We have all the um, uh, all the information to uh, to compare the development of sustainability uh, in these eight, uh, eight construction markets. Well, the same goes for building information modeling, also a trend that we track since 2013. Um, so we can see, for example, that in, in the UK since 2013, um, there is not a very big difference uh, for the BIM users, but uh, in Germany, for example, we see a very strong uh, growth of BIM users uh, from 13% in 2013 until 21% in 2017. So over time, over a period of time, we can track the developments here, uh, which is very important, of course, to uh, to keep in mind uh, if, if you want to have the insights in, uh, in such a trend. Um, the topics that we covered in 2017 were love brands, so the brand positioning. Uh, it was about the future role of the architects and the changing DMU, um, the sustainable construction and building information modeling, uh, for the next year, for 2018, we are currently uh, conducting um, uh, the fieldwork for media orientation and consumption of the architects. We are going to conduct the trends in material usage and the future of prefabrication in the construction industry. Um, and the last quarter, Q4, we still have to discuss with our clients. Um, so, of course, uh, um, if you are a client or a subscriber to our reports, um, you can have an influence on the topic and on the questionnaire itself as well. Um, if you're interested in, um, uh, in in buying our report or to subscribe to our report, the annual subscription fee is 6,000 euros per year, uh, which will give you delivery of four reports per subscription year covering all the eight countries. Um, and it gives you also input on the topic choice and the questionnaire, of course. Um, if you're interested in uh, only one of the topics, that's also possible, of course, a single report is available for 1,750 euros. If you would like to, um, uh, yeah, if you if you want to need if you need to know uh, some more about this uh, this study, uh, if you need some more information, uh, please feel free to contact me or my uh, one of my colleagues, Mr. Jan Paul Schop or Dirk Hogenboom. Um, and um, yeah, we are always happy to uh, to give you a call or perhaps uh, give a short presentation uh, on the European Architectural Barometer by our vision. Um, I would like to thank you very much, and um, perhaps we'll uh, we'll speak again soon.